And get ready. And once they come in over the top of these trees, it's game time. Just doubled up. Heck yes, 100% right there. That's what I'm talking about. Dropping them like flies. We haven't duck hunted on the channel in quite a while. And even when we did make a duck hunt video, it was only like a short, sweet video. So what I want to do today is do a really long, but really fun duck hunt. Now we have an awesome setup here. We have about 50 decoys. We have two mojos. We have two blinds set up. So let's get some ducks. We got some breakers. Looks like about five or six of them coming in here. Uh, maybe three of them. No, four. All right, let's swing on these. Ooh, switch out. Got him. <laughs> nice. Man, did they change the sound of this 12 gauge? It sounds incredible now. Before it kind of sounded like the 20 gauge, but now, well, I guess we'll find out the next flock of ducks that comes in. Well, you got another nice flock of ducks coming this way, and this actually looks like some greenheads. That is what we're all about. Some nice greenheads out in the front. Nice mallards. Let's see if we can't call these guys in. We got our mojo duck out behind us here. But yeah, definitely a couple of really nice drakes right out in the front. Ooh, we got five of them coming in. This is going to work out really nice. We do have another flock coming in right now, but honestly, not really worried about them right now. Let's get ready on these ducks here. Take the big green head in the front, actually. Oh my god. Well, we did finally get them, but the first two shots were horrible. Okay, we actually have two or three different flocks coming in here. That duck landed like right on top of us, but there's another big flock way out there cupped up. You can see there's actually about four of them coming in here. Way out there, and those actually look like they're gadwall or mallard ducks. It's kind of hard to tell. Got some more ducks coming in over here. But let's get ready on some of these here, actually. Oh my god, do we have ducks? We have ducks everywhere. Holy. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've seen this many ducks here, guys. There's just so many ducks. I think we're going to take down these three coming in here. And that massive flock there is probably going to jump up here in a second. But let's see if we can't take these down. Holy fast shooting. I can't believe how fast we could shoot. All right, another nice flock of mallards coming in here, right over the top of us here. Let's see if we can't get a couple more this time. We did get three, but the first shot, like I said, it was a flock shoot, and we ended up messing up majorly. And the second couple of shots, we did connect, though. Nice flock of ducks. Got another flock coming in over here, too. Way up high. Those, I think, are either gadwall or black duck. Maybe a couple pintail. Holy, they broke like 150 yards away. Three of them broke off. Way out there. But hey, I will definitely take it. Let's get ready on these ducks. There's two on the right, one coming down on the left. Um, yeah, they're pretty spread out. But they're definitely coming in. So I think we'll take the one on the left first. Looks like a nice pintail, actually. Smoke that one, and that one, and that one. Now we're on. All right. <laughs> Took a little while to get used to it, but we're good now. We got another flock of ducks coming in. I think this is actually Mallard, Gadwall, and Pintail here. So I guess it doesn't really matter what we use for callers, but I do kind of want to try and call on these Pintail. They definitely see about four or five Pintail in there. Actually, no, that flock, that entire flock pretty much is Pintail. <laughs> there might be like one or two gadwall in there, but that is pretty much all pintail. Yeah, I see one gadwall in there, I believe. Come on. Pintail are so hard to get to come in. Ooh, we got a breaker. Uh, we actually have three of them coming in. Not bad. Let's get ready on these. Three pintail coming in here. It's like a male in the front and two hens. Could try and double up there. Got one of them. And switch out to the other 
12 gauge. Got him. That was actually a pretty good ways out there. Maybe like 60 or 70. Oh, another big flock coming in. Let's reload. Let's reload. Both of them. Come on, reload, reload. I think those actually might be Mallard and Pintail. No, those are all Pintail. A couple of Mallard. Ooh. We got some breakers. All Pintail broke. Looks like six or seven of them broke off. This is going to be good. This is going to be real good. Wow. Let's get these suckers circling around here. Whoo. So we got four on the left, two on the right. We're definitely taking the four on the left here coming in. All right, get the one up front. Did I miss that first one? Doesn't really matter much because we got him that time. Come on, give me it. Ooh. We got another flock of mallards coming in here. Looks like about seven or eight of them. They're flying a little bit sideways though, so I don't know if they're going to break. They might. Oh yeah, we got them to break actually. Two of them? Two of them broke off. I'll take it. All right, this time I don't even want to use a short collar. I want to take kind of a far shot and just test out the ability of this 12 gauge here. Yeah, it's got some potential. What's that one in the middle? That one kind of looks like a rare duck. Mm, no, just, uh, oh, we got a break at least. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was all about there. Let's call these in. Nice flock of ducks coming in here. Well, we missed once. That's a flock of mallards coming in. Yeah, definitely some nice drakes in there. They're kind of high up though. But we do have quite a few decoys, so yeah, they definitely are interested. It looks like we got a green head right on the front and two hens right behind it. So we should be able to take down all three of these ducks here. Take the green head. Whoa, we got more ducks coming in. Well, we missed the first shot. Got to the second shot. <laughs> and... Man, I thought we had that one. We got another flock of ducks coming in behind us here. I think these are going to be gadwall or black duck. Maybe a mallard in there too, actually. So we'll probably just use the mallard call here. Usually the black ducks respond to it, and so do the gadwall. Only thing that really doesn't is pretty much like the pintail, I guess. But yeah, they're not really interested. Oh well. Wait! Looks like three of them broke off. So that's not bad. We'll take that. Usually I'll just put out one feeder call when they're cupped up like this and let them come right in until they get right about there and then I'll pick out the one in the front. And completely miss everything horribly. That's probably like the second or third biggest flock of ducks I've ever seen right there. Ooh, and we got some breakers. Looks like five or six of them, maybe seven of them actually broke off, which is not bad. Nope, five of them. But five is pretty good. Five is definitely pretty good. All right, let's get ready on these ducks here. Whew, that's a huge flock of mallards. Looks like we have about five or six big greenheads right on the front here. Let's see if we can't get these guys to come in. That is a massive flock of mallards. We already got, looks like three of them broke off. That is not bad. Hardly even called and they're already coming in. I think we might let them uh, circle and hopes that we might be able to get some more to break off out of this massive flock of mallards up here. 
Oh, we just got six of them to break off here. So it's a good thing we had some patience because they're definitely coming in. And we have some that are right on the water by the decoys right in front of us here too. So let's get these a circle. All right, let's get ready. Big green head, second big green head, and a hen. And maybe we could take down. Well, if we can't hit that, we should definitely be able to hit this one. Oh, I don't know how we couldn't get that duck. <laughs> but we did pretty all right. We definitely got like five or six there. So that's pretty good. We got a nice flock of pintail coming in here. Now, pintail are kind of difficult to get to break. But it looks like we already have two of them breaking. Three of them, actually. Huge flock of pintail. A big one way out in the front. I mean, I'm happy with these three... But I definitely wouldn't mind. Yes, we have all almost all of them coming in. Look at this. It's going to be about eight of them broke off here, guys. Let's get ready. And we have mallards coming in, too. All right, let's get ready. Let's take this big one out in the front. Oh, missed that one. Got that one, though. Okay, good. And here's the mallards. I was hoping they didn't break. And they didn't. Okay, good. So we got a couple of Drake uh, pintail out of that flock, which is not bad. I did miss the one that I kind of wanted, but we definitely got two that I did want as well. And I was mainly hoping we could take them down before these mallards came over us, and now they came over us. And yes, they did break, but why is it... Oh, man, this is going to be so difficult to see these suckers coming in. It's starting to rain now. But it's not going to stop us. Well, it will if we don't have any shells in our gun. All right, here we go. Smoke the green head there. Can we get one more? I could have switched out to the other 12 gauge. But I thought, man, I thought we had that duck. Whew, that is one lucky duck. Oh, well. Whew. That's a big flock of ducks. Yeah, they broke, they broke. I thought they might have broke. Holy, look at the ducks. We got like 15 ducks broke here, guys. Oh my God. Holy, here they come. Big green head on the front. I don't even know if we will take that shot. We're gonna have to try and get on one of these. Oh my God. Let's try and pick out a green head. We got one. We got two. Oh, that should have been three. Oh my God, we got, we did it all right. Not great, but we definitely did all right. Oh, a real decent one. 1377 on him. And we got more ducks coming in. Let's get back in. Works every time. Whenever you want to see ducks, just get out. Oh, man, that flock already broke. Good thing we got in just in time. Because we have five of them or six of them. Oh, my God. Seven of them coming in now. All broke fully right into the decoys. No way. I've never had the entire flock of ducks break before. I can't even believe what I'm seeing right now. Holy. This is just unbelievable. The entire flock of ducks broke. The entire flock. Big green head. Oh, come on. I wanted that duck so bad. Oh, big flock coming in. They're broke. They're broke. Reload, reload, reload. Man, this is uh, a lot of action to try and take in at once here, guys. Holy, I can't even believe the fact that we're getting so many breaks. It's just over. It's unbelievable. Jeez. Those are Gadwall and Pintail and some Mallards in there, too. Unbelievable. Another, like, ten of them broke on top of us here. Wow. All right, let's try and pick one of these out. Got a couple. Got that one. Mm, a little bit too far. We're going to take the green head. If we can get him to circle around here, we're going to take that green head. Here he comes. Right over top of the trees. Here we go. Here we go. Cup right up. Come right in. 
perfect shot. He's down. And where's the head? There she goes. Got her. Oh, we got ducks. Mallards, too. Two of them broke off. But we're going to hold off and wait for a little bit more to come in. As long as we get at least three, then I'm happy with that. But two is kind of... Eh, I'll just let them land for now. Ooh. The entire flock just broke. The entire flock just broke. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now, I know I flock shot, but we just got a double. And a green head down. Man, I can't get too much distance with this, it seems like. Ooh, we got a bunch of mallards broken here. Half the flock just broke off, it looks like. Wow. All right, let's get ready. Come on, swing, swing, swing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Green head down, green head down, and hand down. Switch back to the other 12 gauge. Oh man, we almost had all five of those ducks. We definitely got four though. So that was pretty good. And they fly so high. And then when they break, it's pretty cool to watch them kind of descent down. We got three broken here. I'm actually pretty all right with three ducks. So we could wait for more. But I feel like three is pretty good. So I think we'll just... Ooh, good thing we did wait because uh, looks like six more just broke off. So we'll hold off on the front three and go for the back six. Once they come in here. It should work out good. Oh, just missed that back one. Man, I can't get that follow-up shot to connect. Here we go. Here we go. That will definitely work. We got five more coming in here. And another flock coming in over there. But these five will definitely do. Let's call these in. Sometimes I just do one short call like that and get ready. And once they come in over the top of these trees, it's game time. Just doubled up. Heck yes, 100% right there. That's what I'm talking about. Dropping them like flies. Huh. Those ducks probably would have broke, but I think they're spooked. Man, a double and then 100% with the 12 gauge. Mallard and a gadwall? Way up high like that? Or maybe it's a black duck. I don't think... Oh, they both broke, actually. Wow. Okay, I don't even want to call this time. I just want to take them kind of far out. First shot just missed, but then we got him the third shot, so that's okay. Big flock of mallards. Loud. Here we go. We got a good breaker. Looks like about six of them broke off here. That is not bad. Uh, looks like two drakes and a bunch of hens. All right. Oh, got some more broke off here. It looks like we have about 10 of them now. Big drake on the left and a big drake on the right. So we got to try and pick out. Definitely taking down this big drake here. Crumbled him. Where's another drake? I don't think that was a drake, but we got him. Got that one too. Where's the other Drake? Man, you gotta be kidding me. I thought we had that duck. Another flock of mallards. And a big pintail. And we got one duck to break off out of that massive flock. <laughs> That's funny. That is pretty funny. Looks like actually two, three might have broke off now. So that's a little bit more. There we go. Now we got half the flock coming in. <laughs> wow, look at them come. All right. Load it up. Take the green head in the front. Another green head. Got him. And a head. Got him too. Actually, I think that might have been a green head too. That was actually some pretty good shooting there. And another huge flock of pintail coming in here, guys. 
So could we take these down before these pintail get here? Probably, but uh, I think we're just gonna let them land. Cause that's a big flock of pintail and if they come in, it'll be pretty awesome. Look at this one coming in. That's a uh, black duck, I think. Oh yeah, we got pintail to break. Four of them looks like. All right, two on the left, two on the right. Big Drake in the back and one in the front. Two in the front. Big Drake there, big Drake there. And another one there. And actually, we'll take down this black duck and then that black duck. Nice. So we were just sitting here for a little while and a nice male black duck just landed right in front of us here. He's, uh, how far is that actually? I would say he's somewhere around, yeah, I'd say he's about 40 out, maybe 45 out. But I do want to try and take a shot with the 12 gauge here. We got him. I held for the head. And I'm curious, like, where we hit. Did we get any drop at that distance or was it like a pretty tight pattern? And I'm also curious, like, why he's floating off to that other shore over there. Look at him go. <laughs> he looks like a muskrat swimming in the water. You just barely see his head. Oh, big flock of mallards coming in. And let's check to see if we're loaded. Looks like we are. Yes, we're all good. Come on. Come on, big greenheads. Come on. Ah, uh, we got two. I'll take it. I will take it. But can we get lucky enough to get some more? Yeah, we got some more coming in over here. Yes, yes, yes. Half the flock just broke off. That's what I'm talking about. And these ducks here, I can't tell if they're broke or what. But I'm really not too concerned because we have this entire flock coming in over here. And here they come. We'll call twice and get ready. Get ready, get ready. Well, we might have uh, missed that second shot, but we definitely got the green head. And we got the other green head, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Wait a second, I hear a mallard, but I don't see... Oh yeah, there's a green head. Look at that. One green head and all pintails in there. See that? All right, well, if we can't get the mallard, let's try and call the pintail. I would laugh so hard if that mallard broke. Greenhead too, one lone greenhead. Ooh, we got five or six pintail coming in. Actually, one of these might be that mallard. Remember I said I would laugh? Well, I think the mallard might be in this flock. I think he might be like the second from the back. So let's get ready. But here they come. Big pintail in the front. Two, three drakes. That's a big pintail. Oh, I messed up that one. Those are all drakes. Ooh. That was pretty good. I messed up one shot, but the other couple of shots were pretty good. And was there actually... Oh, what are these? Are these spooked or what's going on here? I don't know. I was actually looking around for that mallard and the, the uh, pintail came in so fast that I never got a chance to look for him, but I think he was in that flock. Oh, that, I never got a chance to reload. Let's reload, holy. This is probably like our 15th or 16th flock of ducks already. I don't know, maybe even more. We've been getting so many ducks here. I can actually see a little bit better now too. See how the claws are starting to break up a little bit? We can see quite a bit better now. Lots of greenheads in there, though. Looks like about five or six of them at least. Oh, there we go. Five of them broke off. Looks like half the flock actually might be greenheads. Let's get ready. All right, this time we're only going to call it once. They should come right over the top of the decoys here. Two green heads in the middle. Doubled up! 
doubled up on the green heads. Are you kidding me? I don't even care if we miss this head anymore. Well, there they are right there. Two big green heads we just took down. Double them right up. And then there's a couple more green heads from uh, before too. Obviously, there's a bunch of ducks here piled up, but yeah, there's quite a few of them. Holy, did half the flock break off here or what? Oh my God, it did. I never even realized that, but like half the bottom of this flock just broke off. And I never even had a clue that they just broke. Let's get ready. That actually might be... Why are they not coming in? Maybe they didn't hear the call. Well, they definitely did now. Holy, they're landing right on top of us. Double! Oh, it wasn't actually a double, but we did get one. All right, there they go. Where's it going? Where's it going? Got him. We got one more shot left. Man, they all took off pretty fast. Got him! Finally! Man, that was quite a ways out there. And we already have breakers. Looks like about four or five of them broke off already. So, yeah, we could wait for some more, but we're probably not gonna because four is plenty enough for us. Although there's still quite a few greenheads in that big flock up there. Maybe we'll get them to land by us. Actually, if they circle... We're not gonna pass this up. Big green head down. One more shot left. Another green head. Yes, we got him. Well, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like five of them are coming right in. Green head right on the front. Oh, I'm right behind him. Got him. <laughs> That's all right. I will take that. Oh, man. Pull, pull, pull. Got her. She flew right into the line of sight. And oh, big fucking mallard's coming in. Man, we barely got time to reload. All mallard and like two pintail. Wow. I only think we're reloaded in uh, our first 12 gauge. The other one I think we're empty, so... I'm gonna have to make some good shots here. All right, we got four of them to break off. Five of them. That'll work. All right, come on. We're over top of those trees. Got him. All three drakes. Anyways, let's reload the second 12 gauge. Oh, it is reloaded. Okay, cool. Thought we'd for surely be empty at this point. So the first shot, I was trying to hit the drake, and we actually missed the drake, but we did drop a duck. So it was still kind of a successful uh, shot there. But then the second shot, we got the drake, and the third shot, we got the other drake. So that worked out really good. All right, we have more mallards coming in. Looks like four of them coming in this time. Kind of a cool small flock, but if we can get that whole flock to break, that would be kind of cool. We might be able to go to 100% on this. We get them to break. Oh, we just got the whole flock to break, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Wrong color. All right, here we go. We're at the top of the trees. <laughs> I will take it. You know what? I'm not even gonna try and hit that last duck this time. Because <laughs> every time we try and take the shot, we always miss. So I'm gonna end on that satisfying note of smoking both those green heads and the hen. But I'd say we probably have somewhere around 60, maybe 70 ducks down. So what I do wanna do is check out and see just how many ducks are piled up on the water here. And this will be an indication. Oh my God, that's where the majority of the ducks are stacked up here. Now you're talking right in front of us here. I can see at least six or seven ducks in these three little circles right here. So you gotta imagine each one of these patches probably has about 10 or 15 ducks at. 
So we got like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 right here. Uh, probably 60 with those and 70 with these and maybe like 75 ducks in total. I'll have to pick them all up and show you in the end and just tell you how many ducks we actually did get out of this hunt. Literally don't even have to leave the blind and we already have a Drake Mallard down right here. If we get anything like 1400 and up, then I'll probably show you a trophy shot of it. Otherwise, I'm just going to start picking these up because there are so many ducks here. We're going to count them in the end. Don't worry. We might have just gotten one. We definitely just got one here, guys. That's going to be a 1445.9 Drake Mallard duck. We are definitely going to take and actually that's going to be a pretty sweet trophy shot because look at all these ducks stacked up right here. Which duck is the one that we're trying to get? I think it's this one. You know what? I honestly don't even know which duck is is the duck that we're trying to pick up. I'm pretty sure it's this one, right? No? Well, then, uh, what duck is the duck that we're taking a trophy shot of exactly here, guys? Is it this one? Maybe it's this one, huh? Uh, well, then, maybe it's this one. <laughs> this is going to be such a cool picture. Okay, it's this one. That is so cool. We found the duck that we're trying to get a trophy shot of. Now, if I can just pull out the 12 gauge. <laughs> wow. We have some incredible lighting here, too. That looks incredible. Now, we just got to get our duck up in there. Or at least in a cool position. I think I like that a lot. I think I like that a lot, actually. We're probably going to go with that. There, a nice, clear, crystal clear picture. Big Drake Mallard right on the front and a stack of other Mallards here. <laughs> I mean, those are all Drake Mallards here, too. Now we have a couple of Black Ducks here. Uh, big Drake uh, Pintail here. Just an awesome time. What an awesome hunt this has been. I don't even know what to say at this point. There's so many ducks. No, I definitely want to mount this duck because he's a pretty big one. Now, this duck here was kind of epic because we took him at 12 yards away. So it was a super close shot and we made a headshot on him. So I thought I'd kind of show you that real quick here and take maybe a cool trophy shot as well. Yeah, I like that. So we're already on duck number, I think, 11 or 12. And we haven't even left the blind yet. <laughs> Look it. We've literally not even left the blind. The blind is, is right here, and we've just been picking up ducks all stacked up right here. We've literally been picking up ducks for nine minutes straight now, and we're not even a third of the way done. I mean, take a look at how many ducks we already picked up. Probably close to 20 ducks already. And yeah, we, we got a lot of ducks left to pick up here. That's all I know about that. Well, guys, we have, I think, three more ducks left here. One, two, three. Plus those two in the air right there, and with that... I think that's going to put us at 80 ducks. That's a lot of ducks. Okay, this is the duck that we took on the water with the 12 gauge. I wanted to test out the ability and see like how far the pattern would reach. So 40.6 yards and we hit neck and body. So basically, I was kind of holding for like the head. So it looks like a pretty good pattern to me. And that's a decent size black duck too, 1236. Yeah, that's not bad. Check this out. Big green head coming right in. Got him. And the black duck too. Anyways, now we're gonna find out just how many ducks we got during this hunt. To do that, we can press F3 and that will show us. We ended up taking down 88 ducks. 88 ducks from this duck hunt. That's the most ducks I've ever taken down in this spot. Well, they broke, so uh, Let's see if we can't make a count here, guys. Couple nice green heads out in the front. In the blind, in the blind, in the blind. Oh, so close. All right, anyways, after all that fun and incredible amount of action for these ducks, let me show you the location it's at here. It is right next to this exclamation point here. We're on Regaro Bayou. There's two lakes that kind of intertwine right here. And I mean, you can call them water or whatever you want. We're on a swamp. So anyways, the tent we have set up is right here. We have, this is what it looks like. You can see we have decoys on the left. We have decoys on the right. We have mallard and black duck decoys on the right. And then we have pintail and gadwall decoys on the left here. We have three different blinds. We've been mainly hunting out of this blind right here. 
But if you look right there, we have our tent right there. And there's like a little old shed and a boat and a dock right there. So yeah, this is basically where the spot is. And anyways, with that, that's going to pretty much wrap up this hunt. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.